stop trying to be perfect. Lately, I've been in an era where I'm just letting myself free, allowing myself to just be myself. And I'm going to talk about the different ways I'm intentionally focusing on releasing perfection. I'm going to start even just with content. Now, there's this era going on, this movement going on with YouTube and it's a little bit more vulnerable. Like people are not doing all these thumbnails. Tony Gaskins was also talking about this too, how he just shows up authentically. He don't edit, he don't do all the things he shows. It'd be like real behind the scenes stuff in his videos. But even on top of that, like coming on camera with my natural hair, coming on camera being vulnerable, coming on camera being real, like showing real glimpses of my life and understanding how to kind of let my hair down, let myself breathe like I come on social media if you look at all my videos every video is me in different phases like I got my hair twist got my hair out then I'm in baddie mode then I'm then I'm just in a mode to just be serving because truthfully girls don't dress up 24 7 so when you look through my videos you're just, you're seeing real life glimpses real life glimpses real glimpses from my life so I just noticed like when I started releasing the perfection to like, that's what was holding me back from making videos because I felt like I had to dress up. I felt like I had to look a certain way. My hair got to be a certain way, but now I just been more comfortable with just coming as I am and just being authentic and true to myself. Another way that I've been focusing on releasing perfection, I encourage you to do the same is to release the perfection with your flaws. I struggle with having a lazy eye and it was very insecure about it so when i would talk to people i mean like i was literally a prisoner in my own body because i'm focusing on ways to make my eye look less lazy i'm walking with my head down i'm avoiding eye contact looking down it was the reason i didn't get on camera for years because i fear people bringing it up i fear people saying things about me negative things about me i didn't like how it looked and i realized and i hid it for so long including other flaws on my body for so long and one of the ways that i'm focusing on releasing perfection is just letting myself free like people already know i have a lazy eye so what is the point of hiding it just be yourself it's like when I'm looking around in rooms, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying so hard not to look lazy eyed and I'm in my head thinking, oh my God, do I look, do I look lazy eyed? Do I look cross eyed? Do I look cross eyed? Instead of just coming up and showing up authentically as me, because when you're so trapped in your insecurities, you're not listening effectively, that could affect your relationships, that could affect your relationship with your body, like you're holding on to so much tension and stress and angst. So you can't fully show up and operate in the ways that you need to show up. So let's say, for example, you have an insecurity with your weight. Now, my insecurity, I can't change. But if you have insecurity that you can change, of course, make the necessary changes. But I'll just do this because this is mo the most common. Let's say if you have insecurity with your weight and you probably gained a little bit of weight. And when you walk in inside places or walking or going places, you're constantly thinking, oh, my God, do I look fat? Are people criticizing me? Are people saying I look big? Are people saying I look too small? Are people saying I look too, my nose is too big? Are people talking about my teeth? Like, I found beauty in just being honest and authentic with my flaws. Like, listen, like, I'm not up here. I'm coming as myself. I'm being me. That's all I could be like. And you know what I noticed? This is how I knew I had to drop the perfection because even being a substitute teacher coming in, the kids will notice my eye. The kids will comment. The kids will say things. So I just realized there's no point in hiding and suppressing and, you know, just shunning the questions that they're asking. This is just a sign that it is obvious and that it's no purpose in me trying to hide something that is obvious. So it's like I encourage you to just be yourself, drop your shoulders and just breathe, like just breathe and let yourself free. And that's just the movement I've been on in terms of that. The next thing, guys, hold on, let me, yeah, let me turn the light back on, hold on. The way I've been releasing perfection is in my craft because I tend to be such a perfectionist. And with my videos, if I didn't say everything in the one video, I had a business coach who told me, you don't have to get everything in one video. Or if I was messing up a lot, I was, I get stressed out. Even in my writing, I would, if it, if it don't, if I don't type it out perfect, I'm upset. I'm, I'm not, I don't have the flow, but I've been found the beauty in just in my college professor. Shout out to Professor Hart. She taught me this, just get everything out. 
unperfect imperfect get every unperfect out of word but get everything out imperfectly don't try to make everything so crystal so clear so perfect clear cut allow yourself to be imperfect and then now when i do it i write i write imperfectly and i go and i clean it up now releases a lot of stress even when i write raps like i would just be so stressed out and strained because i'm trying to be perfect and that's a lot on me and another way i'm releasing perfection is allowing myself to make mistakes period like just not trying to be so perfect and i grew up in a very toxic household and i have a critical and under critical like parents so a lot of the times the voices that i'm hearing are not even mine and i've just learned that perfection was the way i been I, the way i was able to get relationships which is really which weren't really healthy relationships but i found safety and perfectionism too so i wanted you to know that i understand that that's why a lot of people are perfectionists because it's safety in that it's safety in holding on to something and not releasing something because if we put it out what we're really afraid of is being judged or what we're really afraid of is looking crazy or the fear of failure for me what I realized, I was just spending so much years as a people pleaser, trying to be everything for everybody, being a perfect person. Everybody was like, oh, well, how could you dislike mahogany? How could you do that to mahogany? That's how I was. But that wasn't really me being authentic to my true self. So I was betraying myself and in return was attracting a lot of toxic relationships. So another way I release the perfection is by being real, speaking up. I'm not no compliant person. Don't get me wrong. I'm cool and I'm receptive and I can submit to things and allow myself to be led. But I'm not no compliant, do whatever. I'm okay with everything that's going on. No, that's not me. I'm a person that addresses things. And I knew I released this perfection thing when I started to address my problems in my relationships. When I started to be real, hey, what you're doing is bothering me. Instead of suppressing it and having people thinking I'm this perfect patty when I'm really not. So I'm just learning. I'm telling y'all, I encourage y'all to just drop the perfection. Get started. Be yourself. Let your body free. Because what I've been learning as I've been writing this memoir. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> what I've been learning as I've been writing my memoir is that the body literally seeks expression. And when we repress the body, the body is going to want to express itself. And I'm just finding as I'm releasing all these things, releasing all these emotions, my body's telling me, Mahogany, I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling like I'm an actor on a scene. I'm tired of feeling like I have to play this part and play this role 24 seven. Can you please let me be? And I encourage you to let yourself be, give your body space. And another thing, another thing I was watching this video and, and it said, give thanks to your body. Like I ridiculed my eye, felt shame for my eye, but I never thanked my eye for giving me the abilities to see, the ability to make content, to respond to comments, to read and learn new knowledge, the ability to edit my videos that's the reason i could edit my videos because of the eyes that i shamed so much and i was just like wow my eyes contribute to my gifts to be able to speak and write and rap because i can see what i'm putting out there my hands as well they're the tools that i use to edit my videos to write my stuff to write my books to write my rap so i want you to think about that too the things on your body that you ridicule the parts of your body that you ridicule do you even honor those parts at times? So that's just something I want to end this video off with. Thank you guys so much. It's time to release the perfection and just set yourself free.